All right, so making a quick video for George here. Uh, so this is this is the uh, mixing vessel that I usually use. Um, I have a larger one. This one will fit in here, but it won't work if there's a stick because it bumps into this clip. So the previous videos you saw, this assembly wasn't there yet. So uh, what this is, you'll love this, man. So. I was racking my brain trying to figure out how what I'm going to make this out of. Am I going to use metal? Am I going to use wood? Am I, you know, am I going to use plastic? What am I going to use? So I was just looking around the garage and shit that's out here, and I spied this one of the cheap, shitty plastic paddles that come with a raft, uh, and it's threaded right with this big like nut. So I cut this out and use that and cut it in half so it goes through here and then it's nutted on both sides. This is a piece of shelving rack and then this is a tarp clip. And basically I made myself a little Luxan mixing paddle because I learned very quickly when you use wood, uh, it pulls air out and bubbles. So that fits in there, locks in like this. So this mixing vessel sits in the uh, Longworth chuck just like that. And then I pulled the motor back just a little bit to create a little tightness. It's still a little loose, but this is good. If it gets any tighter than that, then it actually drops the RPMs. So this is the completed unit. And then you've got your uh, mixer in here, your mixing paddle. So you just get it right down to about there to where it's just barely touching. Uh, and you want it up against the wall like that, about like that. And uh, it's hard to do this one-handed. I'm just going to set it down for a second and do this. So you just get it lined up and then tighten the little uh, tightening screw there. And then that's perfect. Now it's remote controlled. So uh, this is a like RC car battery, 11.1 uh, volt. I uh, soldered on a different connector than the one that it came with because these are the ones I have which goes into here. Uh, this switch does work, so that powers it on. Uh, and this speed control works, but it also has a remote control. So, powered off. The entire assembly will fit inside the vacuum chamber, like so. So you've got your epoxy in there, which you degas part A and B separately. I have a whole bunch of videos of me doing the first test. But as you can see, the lid fits on here. And so then you take your remote and then you can remote control the mixing and speed inside a perfect vacuum. So it does not introduce any bubbles uh, and it works fantastically well. So yeah, that's the gist, man.